Aaron, we're trapped in the corner of a screen surrounded by corporate names and some kind of tear. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, guys. We almost didn't see you there. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm just kidding. We, I'm scared. We, we, we knew you were there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's, it's Aaron and Zach here from A to Z Podcast. We do a few things around here. If you want to, head on over to our podcast, like, share, subscribe, stuff mm-hmm. like that. But we got something different for you today. We're yeah, doing uh, for into this video world, and we thought we'd do something for the locals, for the 409, for the BMT, you know, even for the mid-county people, stuff like sure. that. Uh, what we have here is we have a Southeast Texas fear, fast food tier. Fast food tier. And we are going to give our definitive, mm. that's right, mm. definitive. What yeah. we say here, that goes. Yeah, that's, that's gospel. That's gospel. Yeah. So we're going to give you our definitive list of the Southeast Texas chains that you find around here. We're going to rank them from S to F. Aaron, why don't you tell them what the designations are, right? What, is, right. what is S? Because I don't know much about these tiers. So first of all, I'll just, I'll tell you that F means trash, right? Yeah. Let's just start at the bottom. F is trash. Yeah. Yeah. So with that in mind, S is like, that's God tier. So that's, what? Best so it's of the A best. and then S. S is like untouchable. S is untouchable. It's just it's a, above and beyond the rest because A is is very good. It's dominating. Yeah. A like completely dominates stuff, and then S is just like one tick over that line. So this uh, is like this is like rates of like how high do you have to be to go and eat there, right? <laughs> well, as you as you move as down you move towards down, the you bottom, have to you have to be like it's like yeah. so high. <laughs> the okay. lower on the tier, the higher you have to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's yeah, a good one. It's an uh, inverse tier. But you're probably like you'll you're probably looking at some of these logos and noticing that we've put some things in there that are kind of going to go head to head. Some mm-hmm. restaurants that fill the same role. Yeah, we got the chicken row down. Yeah, there. Yeah, we got the chicken row. We got like some delis. We got some burgers. Mm-hmm. A lot of things are going to go head to head. And then there's differentiations between delis and just sandwich places. I don't know. This is going to be we're we're gonna have to we're dive gonna have more fun. into it. Yeah, it's we're we're going to be long winded. But like I said, this is definitive. Definitive. Uh, you should absolutely not just argue with us in the comments or anything like that because yeah. you can't. Why? You because can't, we're the be author- wrong. we're the authorities here. But let's you know what? Let's just go ahead and slide into it. Let's start with a head to head. You want to do that? <coughs> we'll do that way. Are we let's, gonna start with chicken, or are we gonna start? Let's with start with sandwiches? the let's start with the, the fast food coffee. Fast let's, food coffee. We're gonna we're gonna start Starbucks and <sighs> Dunkin' Donuts, dude. Starbucks and so where are you, so, where are you putting them? Where are you putting? I I personally I want to put Starbucks in D. You want I, Starbucks in D? I want it in D. It's not complete trash. I don't trash. know if I agree with that, man. It's not complete trash, their but... Their coffee's good. Their coffee is crap, dog. Their coffee is good. Their have coffee you, is not have good. Have you had the cold brew with the sweet, with the salted cream? I don't like their coffee. McDonald's has better coffee. That's a fact. And okay, it's look, look we're just get, let's get this rolling. I'll give you, I'll give you Starbucks right. in the D. All it's right. in the top of the D, though. It's at the top, It's on yeah. the tip of the D. It's, it's yeah. on the tip. Yeah, so <laughs> where would that put where would that put old Duncan? You, I guess you want Duncan in A or something, right? No, I don't want an A. I, first of all, I don't want Duncan in A, uh, and and also, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna put Duncan. I'm gonna put Duncan right here. I'm cool with it being C. It's it's definitely in the middle of the road. It it's it, not does that great. I, it does what I it does what I need. You know what I mean? Because. Whenever I want a coffee, I go in, I get quick service. Yeah, but every time you go in there and get a coffee, they always if you don't want if you're trying not to hit your sugar like I am, they they just they always I just you, get you black, can't dude. not get sugar. Drink coffee like a man, drink it black. How many times do you have to go and tell them, "Hey, I just want just a touch of cream." And then they dump half the bottle in it. I only got to tell them once. So, you know what? No, you mm, Okay. No, so, we're that's what we're putting But in. here's the thing about Dunkin' too though, and this is going to ring true for a lot of these things is you'll find that each like location is different, right? Mm. To me, Dunkin' Donuts would be at a B level because I love the one on 11th Street a lot. Yeah, That's, that one's that, pretty good. That one's, that one's good. pretty good. That the one's one great. on the one right here across the studio in the colonnade, mm. they can just they can suck it. <laughs> they can suck. It. It's one of the only places ever that I've They're walked rude. into. They're rude. It was. It's. <laughs> they I'm were telling rude. you, right now, it's the only restaurant I've walked into and then walked out without placing an order because yep. nobody nobody like let me know anything. Okay. I just walked in. So where are we going from Dunkin'? Uh, okay, so how about this? <laughs> If we're if we're, we're on, if we're on fast food coffee, I'm gonna go ahead and hit them. McDonald's. Oh, go ahead and hit them yeah, we did already talk about them. I'm gonna hit. You know what? I I say A. I say A. I don't think S. I think McDonald's is S class. I I have to disagree. I say it's A class. Just the sheer amount of them. They're everywhere. You know, the quality's pretty solid. But their drink machine's always broken. Yeah, you're right. You're right. There you they're, go. They're, that, they're, that, 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 that that ice cream machine. That ice cream broke. machine's always down. So that hey, bumped you out if, of it. The, if they had their equipment was consistent. And their staff was consistent. They'd be S. <laughs> they would totally be S tier. And a lot of things is the, one of the reasons for me why McDonald's is so high, like in the A tier, mm. is because of their value. You can go in and get full off four dollars. Mm-hmm. Also, they're open twenty four hours a day. Twenty four hours a day, most of them. At most of these locations, and that that sets them right there, dude. Like A tier all the way. Not at S. Get your shit together. 
if if you you know what I mean, like if you if you uh, had more team meetings or something, or got higher quality ice if cream they, machines, if they fix that, yeah, they fix that you ice cream could, machine. You could be up there. You could be S tier. Get, get it together. All right, let's let's do this point of contention here because we had Jody. We were talking to Jody about this, so you know we're talking about ice cream machines and all this. Let's let's go to DQ. Ooh. Let's let's. Hmm. I put DQ as a solid B. I put it. I put it C. I you put think it C. In C? Why? I put it in C, but I'm cool with Why? D. It's too expensive. <laughs> it's too expensive. The value is that's there, for sure. It's way you know? too expensive. I don't. I don't. I don't see the value. And the ice cream is always good. You, you know, know what, though? you know the hey. ice cream is always going to be good. You know what? Blizzard's on point. That's true. Yeah. Steak finger yeah. baskets. Ooh. Country gravy. Those thin little fries. All right. You know we'll I'm, cool. I'm cool. We'll hold it in the B. I'm cool with B. We'll hold it in the B. We'll put it there. DQ's in the B. We'll put it there. All right. Let's go to Jack in the Box. We're talking about fast food burger joints. Jack for me personally. I'm putting it down. Put it, put it there, dude. I was about it to say that there. shit. It's, it, the colors match and everything. Put like, it in F, Jack, bro. Like, you've Jack disappointed us for so long. You have I failed. don't care about your sourdough bullshit. The one thing, that, the reason that I put them in F class is because they constantly advertise those tacos. And they advertise those tacos. They look like Taco Bell tacos, but they don't ever look like no. that. And we all know it. No, all, they're, it's they're the, a it's the pregnant, mess. like, what is that thing? Where it's like It's almost like a like a meat pie in a way. It is like a meat pie, but instead of being a flaky, bready, good crust, it's in a it's like stale, like stale, used up tortilla. It's nasty. Now the egg rolls are really good, but Which, that that's not enough. You know, something I don't even understand how those tacos get like that. Because if they're deep fried, how come the tortilla doesn't puff up like tortillas do when they're deep fried? It does. That doesn't even make sense. It just, it's not real meat. That's yeah, that's true. Up. You know what? I I got a little bit of love for you, Jack the Box, because you helped get me through college. Uh, I could go get a large curly fries and be full or that Big Jack for like a dollar and 25 cents. But times have changed. Times have changed. We're that adults was, that now. That was 12 years ago. Times have changed. And you guys kind of suck. So let's, let's uh, go. You know, you know what I'm thinking? Now that we've filled out, we've kind of we've hit a point in every one of us. I want to go ahead and nominate our first superior. Oh, yeah. Slide it on. Slide it over. Do, yeah, I don't. Just look, look at the camera, Aaron. Do we even have to argue yeah, about we don't, this? Yeah, we don't have to say anything. Do we have to say we anything? Have, open 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. Best value, and hold on, you might dispute me on that. Say it's expensive, but it's also really, really big. It's, it's. I think it's, it's almost as expensive as Dairy Queen. It's up there, I, no, if but not more. But if you dude, think about the on. value per like weight per calorie of food that you get, sure, yeah. it's on like the dude, price. Everything that fair. every every large price the menu is going to be like twelve hundred. Honey butter man, chicken biscuits. You trying to bulk? You trying to get it day? together? Oh, like oh. they got you. That's it. All right. Yeah. Enough said. We no, don't. Yeah. Need, no yeah. arguing there. Yeah. All right. Here's a here's a local favorite or something that you actually might not like, but this is a 409 fast food tier list. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and like slide checkers where we need to slide checkers. it. Checkers. We have one location right over here on 11th Street. Uh, it's checkers, the gateway honestly. to Old Town. To me, I like I like ch I like checkers. I put it in an A. I'm gonna put it in A too. I think I'm glad we agree on checkers that. Checkers in that A because they have a they're really not, solid. Now, they're now now there's another thing to the tiers, right? Like there's 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 left to right. There is right. left to right. Yeah. So yeah. checkers is not above McDonald's because they they're they're only in one spot. Right. So yeah. in in that tier in the A tier, yeah, McDonald's is above checkers. It's a dominant A tier. But we're putting I I nominate I put checkers in the A tier because they have like one of the best dollar chicken sandwiches you can get, mm. like bar none, mm. and they're really fast and efficient with their food. They're right there. I love the location. Uh, I can get like something on my way somewhere else, and I mean the I know, curly it's just, fries. It's just great, man. man. It's just good. It's curly. The Cajun fries. seasoning on the fries. Oh my god. That's it. That's enough said. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> hey, I got right. I got another right. nomination for uh, for the F tier, just because I, I like I like. Well, let's finish off these burgers real quick. Wait, really, you want to you want to work on the burgers? What are we gonna do? Nah, all right, we'll we'll come back to the burgers. That's fine. Yeah, throw, yeah you know throw, what I'm doing. Throw it in the trash get it bin. Out get out. Get in. The, get out of here. I'm Panda seeing Express. a. I'm seeing a. The color a scale, pattern, right? right oh here. yeah, there is. Dude, kind of, it looks like Panda Express sucks. Pan I'm I'm gonna tell you a story about Panda Express and why I know it sucks. <laughs> the first time I ever ate there, I went there. I wanted to get the broccoli beef, right? Mm. It's a really simple thing. It's broccoli. It's beef. There's like a little bit of a sauce some in kind there, of sauce, or whatever. Yeah. Some kind of sauce, right? I don't know how the flip you can order broccoli beef and not only not have enough beef, but not have enough broccoli either. Mm. Like I got this, I was like, what? What? What's going on here? Now, now have you, like, ever, you ever gone like to the store? It's like a puddle of sauce. You ever with, go to the store, you get, you get a head of broccoli, and then you get a head of cauliflower. Which one do you end up with by the time you're done with them? You broccoli. end up with a lot more cauliflower. Oh, yeah, because I don't, I don't really like it's cauliflower. There's not that much broccoli left. So if we I don't Pan, know how if, you didn't have if, enough of either. If we have Pan Express on here, why don't we have, like, Payway on here? Because that's casual dining. I'm going to call that pay, one. That's casual dining? I think they... 
they revolve more around like people going inside eating. Mm. You know, I just that's for a different. I think that's for a different tier. That's a different tier. Yeah, it's more of the restaurants. It's kind of more. It's just like, it's almost there because <clears throat> I would say Payway is pretty much fast food. But yeah. It's just it's not exactly. Since we did the Pan Express, let's do the other one off. Let's put Wiener Schnitzel where we think it's gonna go. Wiener Schnitzel. Yeah. What do you think about Wiener Schnitzel? <sighs> Man. I think Wiener Schnitzel, and I hate to do this, but I really think it's a solid C tier. I was gonna put it in B. Hmm. The quality of the food doesn't really put it in the B category. Yeah, but the price is on point. Yeah. It's quick and it's easy. Yeah. I don't know, man. You know what? what? Just because if the, we're talking it, wieners, the, and Sonic has better wieners. Look, put it in the middle. We'll figure it out later. You want we'll, you yeah, split it? Split it. We'll we'll figure it out later okay. before the tears over. So if we're talking about wieners, we gotta gonna go with Sonic. Hell I'm yeah, gonna put dude. Sonic all the way down and see for sure. Bro, see, this is where you got me messed up right now, dude. Ah, uh, every that was my dude, first every job. Every time I go, man, you got and, me messed up. And then they make they make tipping awkward. Like if you pay with a card at their at their check in thing, and then you don't, if they don't they give you a tipping option on the screen. So then they come up and they give you a receipt and they walk away, and it's like I don't have any cash. No, I'm not a bad person. But that's what they do. That's Sonic. That's what they do. Where else can you get a nice pillowy, fluffy, good pretzel and cheese? I've never had a pretzel and cheese from Sonic. They're delicious. Is there like a ballpark thing? Where else can they? you go and Is get Sonic like a, ballpark a giant thing? mess of? Mozzarella sticks. Okay, look. Here's Cheddar pop. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Popcorn here's the thing. chicken. I'll give you B just for the tots, bro. All right, cool. Just I'm, for the tots, right. I'll give you B. I'm cool with that. I'm. I'm. Gr- that sounds great. I'll give you B for Sonic all tots. Right. Uh, we just ate this because it's right next to the studio. Yeah. What's up with Burger King, dude? What's up with the BK? You got love for the BK? <sighs> Man, that was a really pleasant experience we just had. It. It was pleasant for the. It was pleasant for the. Uh, it really wasn't bad. Like that was a re- that was a decent double cheeseburger. It was decent. Like that was as decent as the McDonald's. And it one, was cheap, but a lot more fluff though. And it was cheap. They always seem to have like a bunch of filler kind of. And taste they're open twenty four hours a day. Are they? Yeah. Eh, their their fries suck though. The fries. Well, yeah, but they got that zesty sauce though. I do be loving that Ooh, zesty that sauce. That zesty sauce is so good. Uh, I'm not put them. I'm not I'll put them in, in B. I'll put them in B. I don't want to put them on the same level as as McDonald's. No. Obviously, I give but them I don't put them on B. They yeah. have they've held it down That's for quite up. a while. That's what's up. Uh, so let's just jump ahead on the burgers. Wendy's. I'm gonna put you on down to what? No. To, eh. Okay, C. Dave. Okay, C. Dave. C. We'll give you C, Dave. Because I mean the chili, dude. Chili. Yeah. We have a chili. Where have you lived all your life? Where are you from? I always remember just the square patties. Dude, Wendy's has banging chili and, and the they give frosties. you the they give you the this little tube of sauce that's like makes it spicier. What? Yeah, they have really good chili, man. It's fast food chili. Okay. I mean, I trust you there. Yeah, you should. It's trust great. You. All right. This should be, I think, the last of the burgers. We yeah, have a uh, hamburger depot. Oh, Hamburger Depot. I don't throw them up in the A tier. Oh, I mean, hey, that's exactly what okay, I was saying. Okay, and the only re- look, Hamber- Hamburger Depot, and we love you because you are local, and y'all are one of the few locals we kind of fit in here. Yeah. But but the reason you're not S tier is because you're so damn slow. That is true. That's it. That is true. It's just if you would just speed up just a little bit, get it together, maybe we put. Yeah. You in S-tier. If I could have like a, if I could have like a ten thirty minute, minute burger, like a thirty minute burger would be nice. <laughs> a fifteen minute. Not twenty. Shit, this is in Luke's. I mean, I mean, when I used to eat uh, Hamburger Depot a lot, it would be when I was out working, doing uh, like installs and stuff like that. Yeah, and it would always be when I needed more time that I would that I would say, "Hey, let's go to Hamburger Depot," <laughs> and they would always mess me up. Like I was mm-hmm. always running late after lunch. And well, all now stuff. you know not to go to Hamburger Depot if you're pressed for time. Now I know just to go to because that's gonna make you burger. late and get you fired for a burger that's a, it's a pretty good burger. That's a tasty burger. It is a good burger. It's big. Like it's I, juicy. I kind of, I'm kind of looking it's at one it. It's one of them though, backyard Aaron. burgers. I'm kind of looking you know at what I'm it. Saying? Aaron. I don't think checkers can sit above hamburger. I don't think so either. Or swap McDonald's them either. Swap them. Now let's switch it up. Let's uh, let's go to Delis. Delis. First on the docket because I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it a new one. Throw McAllister's up there. Grab where you, it. Where you gonna? Where you grab where it? You want it? I'm sliding like at least C. It might even be D for me. I don't know if I can. I, the T man. Man, that I, tea. It's yeah. so good. Yeah, but nothing you can else. Get, is. You can buy it by the gallons. Gallons it, of hey, it. I could buy Red Diamond tea and H E B. I don't hey, need no tea. Red Diamond ain't got Dark. shit on McCall. Their food sucks. Their soup sucks. How do you mess soup up? Mm, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you mess soup up? 
Uh, so if the only thing they have, if it's a deli, and it's basically a Jason's ripoff, which is kind of okay. Yeah. You know what? They ripped off Jason's kind of. So we're there just gonna we go. throw cool. them down there. Yeah. I'll give them. I'll give them D. All right. Go ahead here. and put that cursor on Jason's. And you already know what I'm gonna say. You know I'm gonna Bam! say slide it up in the Bam! S. Bam. Hell yeah. You know I was gonna what, say what that. Are you, like where else is it gonna go? There's nothing to explain. No. Dude, <laughs> salad bar on point. I'm talking like you go in there and you can just get as much you, as you want. You can just Whatever gorge you yourself want. on that salad. Whatever you want. And it could be anything. It could be leafy greens, healthy. Free ice cream. Oh, free ice cream. Free dude. ice cream. Cone or cup. And then you got all the fixings for it, too. Oh, you want to put a little strawberries nah. in that ice cream? Here's you can another do one. that. Here's another thing. Manager special. Manager Half special. Half a sandwich. Yeah. Little bowl of soup. Manager special. Drive through delivery. They got it all. Oh my gosh. They, they they have all the potatoes. They have they have different, they have Italian food. They have just the best sandwiches you could get. Some of the best sandwiches you they can got them, get. They got them, they got. Banging mufaladas, they have good croissants. They're soups. One of the things, too, oh. is like every single sandwich they have with a different bread, all the breads are equal in quality. Mm -hmm. There's none of the bread that's like kind of, eh, eh. Yeah, it's but on good. top of that, also hometown local, so we got to hold that's it That's right. That's for Started sure. in so, Beaumont. A lot of people don't understand that Jason's Deli is from Beaumont. Started in like Gateway, right? Yeah, the Gateway Center was the first one. And now they're all over Houston. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. S tier. Uh, let's, well earned. Let's, let's, fa let's finish it, this one with Panera. I'm I'm not a fan, dude. I <laughs> way too expensive. Cool. You yeah. don't have your shit together. And you your think you can charge fourteen dollars for a sandwich? Get out of here. Your bread's not even that great. Yeah, you're not even that great. You're nothing is that great. Nothing is worth what you're charging for it. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah, you're 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 almost like, like DQ almost ended up down there. Actually, I think I, I want to knock DQ down to C. Honestly, <laughs> Do you want to knock? I'm down just getting C? mad about their prices. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the whole thing we're doing here is it's quality, it's value, it's convenience, it's the experience, it's the staff, and it's consistency. You know, all we, we put all those things into play uh, when we make our decisions, which we are the authority on. Yes. These decisions that we're making here are fine. Yeah, you can't argue this. You can't argue You that. can't argue Panera, this. You know we're F, right. F. Panera's F. I'm sorry F to tell class. you. Yeah. But it's done. All day. Let's, let's go. It's time. It's time for Taco Bell. Time for Taco Bell. It's time. <laughs> Drag it over. Oh, my God. Let's see if we argue. I think in B, and I'm gonna put it above Burger King. For that's sure. a that's a fair assessment. I'll even I'll put I, it. I, I want probably, it above Sonic. I would put. I think if it's gonna, you know what, if Taco Bell's gonna Honestly, be in B, I it has it, to be. I in want front. it above DQ. Yeah. If it's gonna be on B, it has to. It be has in front. to be. It's you can get you can get pounds of food for five dollars. Yeah, they're open late. They're not, up, they're not up in twenty four hours, but which, they're open late. But they're open late. They're open till four on the weekends. I think. Yeah. Right? And it's like, you get a good, like, quesadilla, you know? You get a good taco. Dude, $5 boxes. $5 that's, boxes. That's, that's where it's at. Like, the dollar menu there is almost arguably more amazing than McDonald's. Like, I but, think it probably is. That tostada? Have you ever had one of those tostadas? Yeah, yeah. I like them a lot. But, but, lots of news stories about fake meat and, you know, yeah. pink slime and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's like... Plus, it's, it's it's known that Taco Bell will wreck your butthole. So it's yeah, kind of like, so that's why you're on B. You're on B. You're the king of B, though, Taco Bell. You, you are the king, and you'll never be dethroned. We forgot Schlotzky's when we were talking about delis. Oh, God. Let's, let's throw them in there. I'm going to put Schlotzky's down. C-class. I put Schlotzky's C-class and definitely above this bitch. But <laughs> Schlotzky's a C-class because they couldn't get their shit together as far as what the hell are you? Like what kind of what yeah. are, they just rebranded? Dude, they just like rebranded the to the Austin Eatery. <laughs> yeah. Like that's what they are. They someone's going like, hey, you know what's really big nowadays? Austin. Austin's big. Oh wait, we started. Oh, in we're Austin. from Austin. We're from, huh. Let's let's just repaint our stores and let's just throw Austin up there. Well, guess what? I don't even like Austin. <laughs> they wrote something. So, they wrote something big on the side, and it was so dumb. It's did, like yeah. it's like keep it keep weird now, like or some shit like that. Like what a mess of a company. The, Their the, flatbreads are really yes, good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I'm. It's got to be above McAllister's, so it's in the right place now. You've picked it's got to be above McAllister's. Um, you picked a good place. For I it, think sir. I'm bumping. I'm bumping Weeders and down to C. I'm cool with that. Let's do it. Just because it's getting crowded here. Wendy's is C. Dunkin' Donuts is kind of holding it up because it's only got good coffee. Kind of. Slotsky's close second. Honestly, I'm gonna put Slotsky's at the end of C. I'm cool because with that. Because we know what these people are working with. This is yeah, just. This just, guy yeah. is just like, what are you doing? All right, get go, it together, Slotsky's. Let's grab this, too. I'm going to grab Firehouse Subs because you probably haven't really had it. Have you had I've it? I've never really had Firehouse, no. You haven't? I know what it's about. Yeah? I know well, what it's, it's, it's about. It's really good sandwiches. It's good It's solid. in Middle County. I'm going to just go ahead and put it right over here. You're going to put it in B class? I'm going to put it in B. Um, as far as the sandwich goes. I mean. It's a good sandwich. Does it deserve to be there? 
Honestly, no, I, no, 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 no. I've heard, I've, I've seen their sandwiches. They're good. I, I know I've it's had, good. It's it's one of the things that's in. I'm County. pretty sure I've at least had one, but uh, I know it's. I know I'd rather eat there than any of the places below it. It is delicious. It was started and founded by firemen. They do a lot of charity work. You know that makes me feel good. I like it. One good thing about them too is if their sandwich says it's spicy, it actually is, and that's very valuable to me. Okay. So after Firehouse Subs, let's hit let's hit my man Jimmy John's. I'm gonna put Jimmy John's up in A tier. I'm gonna. Yeah, I was about to say you better drop that down. A tier. Uh, but definitely up there though. Jimmy John's is definitely A tier because of speedy service, mm-hmm. which that's like their whole marketing freaky campaign fast. is freaky fast, freaky and it is. Fast. And also they have a very simple simple menu. They have really good ingredients too. That's the thing about uh, JJ's is like they slice their own meats. You know, they just get everything in huge things. Nothing's everything's super fresh. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's it's the exact opposite of the next one, which is Subway. Oh, Subway! I'm gonna fight for Subway. It is the antithesis of Subway. All right, where do you want it? Where do you want it? It ain't going above D. No. It ain't going Fuck above you. D. No. It's not C. Uh-uh, no, I'll sir. give you a C. Ain't no way it's in C. It's yeah, gotta be it's D. totally a C. They're everywhere, and they're always pretty much the same. It depending yeah. on who's okay. working them. So the problem with them being everywhere like that mm-hmm. is they have to figure out the logistics of their food of being everywhere. Mm-hmm. And it's so easy to start up a franchise of a subway yeah. because the the meat we is, have like twenty. In the Beaumont. meat is so full of preservatives and nitrates. It's like the lowest quality food of anything on this list. It's a lower quality of food than Taco Bell. Than Taco Bell. It's a lower quality of food than Taco because Bell because it has salt. No, not salt. It has nitrates in That's the meat. salt. You shut up. You yeah, shut okay, up. look, I'll give you a D. I'll give you a D, okay? You know yeah. what? I'll give you a split. All right, I'm cool with a split. I'll give you a split. I'm, I'm cool with that. Definitely I'm, above McAllister's. I'm cool with that compromise, yeah. It's a split above McAllister's. Yeah, I'd rather have a Subway sandwich than McAllister's. Oh, yeah. So, that's, okay. man, I, we, we are hating on McAllister's. Uh, and we are the authority, too. Okay, Chipotle is a D for me. Yeah, I'd say D. It's good. It's decent. It's fairly fresh, but it, no fu- yeah. no flavor. And you know something? No flavor. Dude, Everybody talks about these burrito bowls nah, and stuff. Dude. They have no flavor. I'm going to tell you something, Chipotle. I'm going to tell you this right to your face. Sure. It took you like 15 years just to get queso. That's a travesty. You remember the commercials when they <laughs> came out? out like you can have, Yeah. You don't even belong here. You don't belong in Texas. It took you 15 years to get queso, and you don't even have like dirty or seasoned rice. It's yeah. just white rice with a little cilantro in there. Yeah, the cilantro Get out of rice. here. You, Southeast Texas is not the place for you because we're not like what regular are you white doing people. Here? We like spicy. We like spicy. Yeah. Mayo is not spicy to Southeast Texas people. You know what I'm saying? It's so, blue collar, man. We need them. So we, need, take, we need to feel Chipotle something. And get it out of here. I'm tired of it. I'm tired right, of your I'm gonna go, I'm going to get a beer. Do you want a beer? Uh, Yeah, I'll take one. Dude, I, I, I laid in a Chipotle, bro. Gracias. <sighs> take this moment. That's how they say gracias at Chipotle. Let me, let me take my moment. At Chipotle, they say Gracias. Oh, yeah. When you go in, they say Gracias. <laughs> gracias. Welcome to Chipotle. No, no, they don't even say that. They say Gracias. <laughs> they say Gracias. <laughs> Welcome to Chipotle. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Thanks for the beer. I appreciate that. Uh, so you already know that next work. is Freebirds. Next is Freebirds. Freebirds is pretty easy. easy. Freebirds a- is a, a, class is a good A class. A class. It's very solid. Uh, a class. I love checkers because it's healthy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know how healthy it is, but it's a massive amount of food. <gasps> yeah, massive amount of food and with the For coupons. Good yeah, with the coupons. And then you got the the sauces. They got good sauces. They got hot sauces. They got good hot they sauces. They have a good little like, sauce bar. It's not that bar. bullshit. Like, Limes are free. Just mm-hmm. go up there, stack it all up. Uh, and they got queso, Thank man. They know. Buck. Let's go for the ones that are kind of the outliers because we're kind of willing our way down to chicken right now. Yeah. And I kind of like this because this is a pretty good argument. Well, then we just got to get uh, Tony's, Tony's and Nebraska's out. Tony's fucking mid, right down there. <laughs> and D? Yeah, that's this is that is not barbecue. All right. First of that all, is not first of all, Tony's, like, if you had a more consistent product between your locations, you would be higher in the list. I've eaten Tony's in Liberty, Texas. I've eaten it uh like I've eaten it in Beaumont. I've eaten it everywhere it is almost, and it is a completely inconsistent thing. There's been a few Tony's that I've had. It's just banging, dude. Like mm-hmm. Liberty. Really? It's banging. Yeah, banging it's Tony's? good. It's good. I don't know, man. But then you go over there by Target, that Tony's, it's just, it sucks. So yeah. it's like, sorry, man, it, but you got to be in D because your your location consistency is really terrible. Sorry, Tony. Yeah. Uh, let's get, move on to Nebraska's. Let's get, let's get Nebraska's out. Nebraska's, okay, so for Nor- Nebraska's is locally owned, isn't it? Yeah. Nevo's is from here. I'm going to put them, I'm going to give them, I don't know, what do you think? I, Okay, this is me being generous. I'm a fan of Nevrosky's. They've never really done me wrong ever. Mm-hmm. I'm putting them in B tier. B tier is good passing grade. 
They That's have great... fried mushrooms that are delicious. Uh, I'm gonna put them up here then. Their burgers are consistently delicious. Fries, uh, chili burgers on point. And the one thing I the have potatoes to potatoes are really the one good. thing I have to stress about Nebraska's, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Nebraska's has the best ranch of all time. Uh, I don't know about that. I think Jason's has the best ranch. I think Nebraska's ranch is superior it's good. to Jason's. It's you, what? I think Nebraska's ranch is superior to Jason's. What's wrong with you? And I, I'm a personal friend of the guy who makes all of the the sauces at Jason's Deli. But I still have to say that Nebraska's ranch is superior. Oh my god, this is gonna somebody's right. gonna get mad at you. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. All right, y'all, it's time for chicken. That's it. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off and say my number one chicken, my my S class chicken for Southeast Texas. S class chicken. Do. I already know what you're gonna do. It's the canes, Bam. man. Bam. Okay, look. Okay, look. This is gonna be the thing that makes so many people mad. Is everyone in the comments well, are gonna be talking about? Everybody Chick-fil-A. that's mad is wrong. So where are we gonna? Okay, so Canes, Canes is Canes, Canes is, up is there definitely for me because because they're open late. They're open till like a le- you can get good chicken yeah. till almost midnight. The thing about Canes and the reason why Canes chicken is it's so, so good, good, the reason why it's better than Chick Fil A's chicken, moist and just like they do ugh, two things. They just so do good. chicken tenders and mm-hmm. they do a chicken sandwich. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. They have focused their entire menu on quality, on perfection. Like straight up perfection. Like break. T- okay, we could get a chicken tender from each of these establishments, and you break open oh, that yeah. that Cane's chicken tender, and it's like a just a flood of it's, juices. It's beautiful, just, uh, and it's perfectly. It's, it's always picture. perfect. They got it down to a science. It is perfectly cooked. Almost every it's single never time. Every single time. Never that I can undercooked. Remember. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's just to me, it's it's superior than Chick Fil A. And we'll go ahead and slide Chick Fil A over because I have good things to say about Chick Fil A. I I'd put it in A tier, easy. I can't let you do that. I put an A tier. I can't I mean, let you do no that. lower than B. I'll, I'll give you B if you want. But the thing about them is they have. I'll give them a B. They have reinvented the drive-through. Their drive-through system. The it's government. Sh- the government should work like whoever invented <laughs> Chick Fil A's drive-through system. They yeah. should. They should redo everything in the government. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we should have a, a reformation party. I want to take them down because they're uh, they're they're thing where they donate money to to evil. I, I mean, that's kind of. I, I want to bump know, them down to C tier for that. I mean, but you know, I their mean, service is so good, and they're not open so on good. Sundays though. They're not open on Sundays, which is great for the employees. Yeah, but the, what about this? Is we're talking fast food here? Fast food is all about like the only you reason know, you should be eating fast food is because you need it, and you're you know, I somewhere. Care. I kind of like them not being open on Sundays because at least that tells me no matter how hard those employees are work there, at least they, they get, get one, one day, day off. off. Okay. So that's cool for me. And the and the thing is, I ate that Chick Fil A. Um, by the Best Buy in uh, Mid County one time for lunch, and I didn't even realize that I forgot my wallet and ordered like twelve dollars and seventy cents worth of food. And I reached out for my wallet. I was like, "Oh, dang! I don't, I don't have my wallet. Just go ahead and cancel my order." And then the, no hesitation. She didn't have to get a manager or anything. Like, it's like no, a sixteen year old girl was like, "No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just come back and pay whenever." Okay, they're in the middle and of the like, class then. Oh my god, are you serious? You're below Taco Bell though, Chick Fil A. Get your shit together. I was like, "Oh my god." Okay, so. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on this one, and it's it's really funny how the color scheme kind of matches yeah. it because it's an F. I'm cool with trash. that. Trash KFC, you're trash. You and can try so, all your marketing things with what's his name? Oh, the weird hot fucking colonel now. Oh how god, is hot? There, is there you haven't hot, seen that? There's a hot colonel. Yeah, it's like a male stripper colonel where he's young and hot but still has white hair. Also, do your chicken just like it's so sad because you used to be the king. KFC used to be like America's number one chicken thing. It used to be the colonel, man. And it's just like now whenever I get chicken, it's kind of dry. It's it's overcooked. Or maybe it's just been sitting under the heat lamp for so long. I don't know. Sometimes it has a smell. I don't miss those 11 serves and spices anymore. I just mm. don't miss them. No. But you're great. No, everybody else figured out how to use spice. Your gravy still slaps, but that's about it. Yeah, but that still doesn't that's, get you out of here. Yeah, that, that will never get you out of Get it here. together. But as far as Popeyes goes, Popeyes, I can bump it up into A. I put an A. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna make this call. Put that in C, dog. Put it, yeah. Ooh. I'm sorry. Chicken so Express, you go, you go on C. Uh, you are very convenient. Mm-hmm. You're in great locations. You're in all the surrounding areas. Mm-hmm. Um, you're fast, and that's appreciative, and you have, like, chicken gizzards, but there's just something about your chicken to me that's kind of like it has a, a oily taste to me. <laughs> You know, I don't know, and it just yeah, it's like they use too much oil, yeah. or they they or they put it in there t- for too long. I'm just or? I'm just not gonna pick you if like Popeyes is around the corner. Mm. I'm picking Popeyes. You yeah, know what I mean? Because I mean, yeah. I don't think Chicken Express ain't got the biscuits like Popeyes got. Yeah, if 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 Popeyes is around the corner, I'm picking that every time. So are that's we? Where we are. are we? Are we comfortable with this? Uh, I mean, is yeah. there anything that we want to change? 
I don't think so, man. It looks that looks good to me, dude. F tier looks perfect. F tier's perfect. All S-tier those are trash. F tier is perfect. D tier is yeah, that And I, I like where uh, so just to reiterate like and this checks out because we pretty much eat B and above most mm-hmm. of the time. You know, every now and then I I dip my feet into uh the D tier yeah. and S tier. Honestly, I drink like Dunkin' Donuts coffee a lot more. I I personally would have put it in B, but that's that's Dunkin fine. Dunkin' Donuts you would put in B? Yeah, I would have. But I'll give you Dunkin' Donuts in B if you give me Subway in C. All right, do it. Dunkin there you go. Put D- it right D- up there. He's going to get up there right in the middle, and then I'm going to give Subway at C spot because it deserves it. Subway deserves it. Yes, yes, their, their, uh, their spokesperson became a pedophile, <laughs> and, and they actually won't help you lose weight, and all their meat is fake. But, man, it's just a good cold cut, man. And they toast it, and they got all kinds of toppings and sauces, and it's just, it's a good It's, it's not nearly good as good as JJ's, though, that we established. No, well, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Is there anything that deserves to be an S class that we haven't given much credit to? I don't know. Honestly, we're going to leave that up to y'all. So, mm. this whole thing is, this is the definitive answer. Yeah, this is definitive. This we is are like, the authority. Yeah. But if you don't agree, I mean, you can just say whatever you want. Yeah, it sure. doesn't mean that it's true. But y'all hash it out in the comments, man. You guys battle whatever. Yeah, let us and know. Honestly, if we'll there's... Gi- we'll give you a template for your own tier if you... Wait, I mean, we can. Yeah. And if there's, like, a, a fast food restaurant from here that we missed, you know, or maybe we didn't think about it, you know, comment on that. Yeah. We might make a version 2 where we, we might change our mind in a week and redo sure. this, and we might throw in whatever you guys say. Yeah. But I think that's been it. This, this is the Southeast Texas fast, fast food, food tier. tier. Brought to you by A to Z Podcast at the AZ Studio. That's right. Remember, we are the authority also, so that's it. Well, yeah, we are the authority. We are. Yeah, this is unquestioned. This is, this is law. Okay, bye. <laughs>